God loves us as we are right now. That's one of the things I'm most grateful for. I love the freedom to be myself in God. I pray that a year from now, five years from now, I'll be a godlier woman. But I know God won't love me any more than he does right this minute. Our addictive patterns are sinful, so it's common to feel awkward about getting close to God. We may feel ineligible to receive God's love and instead expect His angry judgment. We might feel guilty and be afraid that God will reject us. Secretly, we wish we could have a loving relationship with God, but we're afraid we'll never be good enough. The Apostle Paul has shown us that we can have the love and acceptance we desire. For the scriptures tell us, Abraham believed God, so God declared him to be righteous. When people work, their wages are not a gift. Workers earn what they receive. But people are declared righteous because of their faith, not because of their work or what they do. Now, the wonderful truth that God declared him to be righteous wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was for us, too, assuring that God will declare us to be righteous as if we believe in God, who brought us to Jesus, our Lord, back from the dead. Jesus died to reconcile us to God. There are gifts waiting for us that are essential for the growth process, God's forgiveness and powerful support. God declares we have been declared not guilty in his court of justice if we have trusted Christ. He has promised to give us a special home in heaven with our name on it. There's no need for us to do anything but accept his free gifts. When we have turned our lives over to God, we will gain far more than we will ever lose.